Howdy folks, BC here. You're watching Deuce and Guns, and you can see it's still very cold in Tennessee. And I think this would be a great opportunity to go over the heating system in a Deuce and a half. Sorry folks, I had to take a little coffee break because the uh, cold weather is kind of affecting my face and mouth and everything. And I was getting a little tongue tied on some words there. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the, uh, the Deuce's heating system. Uh, a lot of Deuce's never had a heating system actually installed. Uh, the only heat you'd get was the residual heat from the engine actually soaking through the firewall, which during the summer, during the winter, it's, it's, it's much appreciated. During the summer, it actually can make your feet uncomfortably hot, very uncomfortably hot. So I, mean, I know for, for a fact because I've driven this thing in 100 degree weather. And the Deuces that did have the heating system installed, there are actually two different types of heating systems that could have been installed on the Deuces. Uh, number one is the one I've got here, which is basically, I mean, it's a rudimentary version but it's basically just like you'd have in your own vehicle today. It has a little radiator that the coolant goes into and then a fan blows over that and then warms up the air from outside or inside. In this case, it's outside only. And it blows that warmed air into the cabin. Just like my Fiesta, just like my F-250, just like your Toyota Corolla or whatever else you drive. It's just like a normal, normal vehicle. The second option was I think they called the Arctic kit. I, I may be wrong on that. I may be bleeping that out later, <laughs> but I think it was called the Arctic kit, the Arctic heater or something of that nature. And what it did, it was actually more, it was more in line with a old school kerosene heater that your grandparents had in the middle of the room that would burn you if you got too close to it. It actually burned the diesel fuel as an open flame and uh, generate a heat that way. So the Arctic heater, except for the actual source of the heat itself, it acts just like a normal heating system, just like everything else, except for the fact that it's using an open flame versus the engine heat. Now this dude has the regular heating system, not the Arctic system. So let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood and take a look at it. Oh, the hood's nice and warm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna walk this back here. Try not to kill myself. I'm not as young as I used to be. Now, normally you would lock that back, but I'm not gonna be underneath the hood, so shouldn't be too dangerous. All right, guys, I apologize, but I'm gonna have to steady cam this instead of being on a tripod. But basically, we have two heater hoses here, just like the heater hoses in your car. And it goes to a heat exchanger right here. Here's a bleed valve right there. And then here's a blower motor right there. Let's see if that's in frame, yes. So I got a blower motor right there, you see my shadow on it. And that actually sucks air in. There's a tube right here, sucks air through the very front. It's almost like a ram air scoop right there on the side of the hood. I believe when you have the heater delete or the no heater option at all, there's just a plate right here. But in this case, we actually have a little scoop that forces air into it. Now this goes through and then walk behind the heat exchanger and you see an actual tube going through the firewall. And running underneath the dash, you see the air hose there and it goes to an actual floor vent over right in the middle of the dash there. First of all, there's a valve there and there's a valve over here that's actuated by these two knobs right here. So if you open up the damper, basically this is a damper just like your, um, just like your fireplace. It opens and closes this valve right here, letting any air, basically this blocks off any air coming in. So basically during the summer, you don't have heat being forced in through here by that ram air scoop that I showed you earlier. So to open that up, you basically just pull it out and you can see it opens up that valve there. And if you want to have heat on your feet, it's already there ready to go once you've opened up the damper here. Now the second knob here is for defrost. So you can choose that by pulling that out and it closes down the floor vent and directs it up to the window. And if you redirect the hot air to the defrost, it's gonna come out of these two vents. Each window has two vents that will direct the hot air onto the actual window itself. So it should theoretically clear off the ice and snow. Does it always? Not really, but it does its best. Now below the damper knob, there's actually a warning label that says open damper before turning the heater on. From what I understand, if you turn the actual heater on without having this open, it can actually burn up the motor. So we want to open that up 
Okay, and once you have your damper open, I will go ahead and turn on the heat here. And I have put a streamer, well, it's a Band-Aid, but <laughs> it's the only thing I could find right now that I could show the actual heat or actual air flow. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and choose low. Got a little bit of a breeze there. That's good. And once it's uh, sped up to low, then go ahead and turn it to high. There we go. It's actually a pretty good, pretty good breeze coming out of that. Quite a bit of air movement. And I almost forgot to mention that when you have your ignition on, of course, the blower and motor works. You can hear that. But oddly enough, if you turn the ignition switch off, which there should be no power anywhere, still the blower motor works. Is it supposed to be that way? I have no idea, but mine always has been. So does the heat system in the deuce and a half keep you warm? Well, it has the it has the ability to. It really does try. It does its damnedest to keep you nice and toasty. Now, does it actually keep you warm? Not really. Um, unfortunately, the deuce and a half has so many openings in the cab, so many cracks and crevices. And I mean, if you went through and sealed up everything, then yes, you'd be toasty warm with this heating system. But at, at driving speeds with a 14 degree day, you're going to be a little chilly. But it definitely does help. It's it's a it's a huge improvement over not having a heater at all. And I hear the Arctic heater is amazing and keep you nice and toasty. Regardless, you could have, probably have your windows down and, and it'll be fine there. Um, but yeah, the heating system is adequate. It's kind of like Rolls Royce's power. It's adequate. The heating system in a Deuce and a Half is adequate to keep the chill off, to keep from being miserable. But it's not going to keep you toasty warm usually. Well, guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go over subscribe because a lot more is on the way. And if you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, remember to leave that in the comment box below the video. And of course, you guys have a great day. See ya.